Someone asked me if I would slow down and show them how to do a brim. And so that's why I'm back again today with loom knitting again. This time I'm talking about brims. There is... Okay, this is a hat that has no brim. The brim is that little part that goes right across your head that kind of keeps the hat snug to your head. So this hat has no brim. And unless you uh, press it and set it in a certain way, it's always going to roll up. It's naturally going to roll up, which I think sometimes is pretty cute because you get to adjust the hat and make it and you can do different things with the hat. With that, that doesn't have the brim. So this is a brimless hat. This hat was made with knit stitches all the way from the beginning until um, the top. Now, the only two types of brims that I know how to make are the fold over brim, which is what this hat is, which is really um, is two layers because what you do in the beginning is you knit uh, twice the amount twice the length that you want the brim to be and then you're going to fold it back on in a, on itself and then you have a brim and then from there you just knit all the way up so this is like the two layer brim and this is an, another example of two layers it's just a shorter brim and oh the other kind of brim that i know how to make is this is a single layer brim. It is not folded over. This brim is made with knit and purl stitches. So I knitted, knitted and purled um, uh, the length that I wanted the brim to be. And then I just started knitting for the rest of the way to finish off the hat. And here's another example of this. This had two colors in the brim. And this is not a fold over. It's a single brim again made with knit and purl stitches and then knit it all the way and I did a little something fancy there but the the brim is just knit and purl stitches. So what I want to do today is show how to do the fold over brim. The next video I will show how to purl and then the next video I will show how to make the knit and purl brim and then I'm going to go back words and just pick up basic the very basic loom knitting for those who are very new to loom knitting who want to just see how the bait how you just start from scratch from with the basics so right now i'm going to show how to do the fold over brim okay the brim hat, the fold over brim hat. Yes, I'm still using that purple yarn. Um, I love this yarn. I love the color, but not only that, I love the fact that it has those little glitter fleck things. I love that. I, this is wool ease yarn. Um, it is 79% acrylic. The balance is wool. It is washable. I like the yarn because it's thick enough that I don't have to double up yarns in order to make a thick hat. I like that it's washable, but most of all, I like that it has the little glittery fleck things in it. I have also had it in red, lavender, and black as well. Yes, you might say it's my favorite hat yarn. Okay, so back to the rim. We've um, knitted, loom knitted around until we get to the amount, whatever you want your brim to be, however many inches you want it to be, you want to knit twice that amount because we're gonna fold it over to make our brim. Now, I'm gonna go around and push all of these, um, all these um, loops back down. I'm gonna just push the loops down now that we know this is where we wanna make our brim is right here. So we're going to push all these little loops back down, back down, back down, back down. And because we want some space up here to work. Now, what we're going to do is this is how you've been, how it looks because you've been you know, loom knitting around and pulling your stitches off up here. So now you have this part that's coming out right here. Now what you want to do in order to make a fold over brim is you want to take this part and you want to push it back through the hat. You want to push it back through the loop, uh, loom, push it back through the loom so that the part that was down below is now up above. So see how we did that? This is how it was looking as you were knit, you were loom knitting. But now we want to make a brim, so we want to take this part and we're going to pull it through like that. And now 
now, what we're going to do is find, I don't think it matters, to me it doesn't matter where you start. What you're going to do is go to that very first row that, um, and you're going to pull up one of the loops from the very first row that you did. See those loops down there? That's the very first, one of the very first loops. We're going to take one of those loops and we're going to try to line it up with a peg that is coming from because we don't want it to get kind of twisted. So we want to try to get it as close to a peg that's straight in front as possible. And what we're going to do is put it on the peg. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go to the next loop. Take the next single loop and the one on the very end. And we're going to put it on that one. Then we're going to go to the next loop, the outside loop, and we're going to put it there. And then we're going to keep doing this. We got this, go to the next loop and put it over there. And the next loop, <laughs> the next loop, and we're going to put it on the peg. And just stay to the outside, the, the outside loop, outside loop. You can see, and we're just going to put it on the peg. So every loop, every loop should have its own peg. Every loop, and you just go to the next loop, and every loop should have its own peg. And we're going to do one more. Here you go, loop, and you put that on. So you're going to take the very edge loop. So on the very edge and put them on a peg. Loop on a peg. Next loop, put it on his peg. And next loop. And so what you're doing now, you're on the very edge of what you knitted. The very edge, that's if there's a loop there. So you're going to take the next loop, put it on. And we're going to go all around like this. So that's what you're doing. Take the So when you're finished, it should look like this. It's, sorry about that. It should look like this. You have a folded over every one of those little um, loops found its own peg. And there you have it. Okay, so now you have a brim. This is your brim right here. You got a brim. All right, so then once you have the brim, all you're going to do is now you have two um, two rows on each peg. So what you're going to do is just do like you were doing before when you were just doing the plain knitting. And we're going to just go to every peg and lift up. So we're going to lift the bottom over the top. So basically what we're doing is we're lifting the bottom. I'm sorry, I went on a frame. We're lifting the bottom over the top of that loop that you just put on. You're going to take the that. bottom. Goes over the top. Bottom. Goes over the top. We're going to do this all around. The bottom goes up. So now that the, that row is done, you're just going to, what, what I've started doing already is I just went around just like we were doing in the beginning and I wrapped every peg, wrapped every peg, wrapped every peg, wrapped every peg, and then 
just went back to doing what we were doing before after we got it wrapped and we had um, two loops on each peg. We're just going to go back and go up and over, up and over. I don't know. I want to go over. Go over. And up and over, up and over. Sorry, I skipped that one. Up and over, up and over. And that's, we're doing now exactly what we were doing in the very beginning. So now we're back to knitting and we're going to just keep knitting around and around, rows and rows. When we get to the end of this row, we're just going to wrap it, wrap each peg like we were doing from the beginning and then go back again and lift the bottom loop up over the top loop. The bottom loop goes up over the top loop and you just do that over and over and then you just keep going until you have the hat as many stitches as it takes to get the hat to the depth that you want it to be you just keep making rows here's our brim on this one for instance and once we did the brim we're just going to do knit 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 to wrapping and pulling over wrapping each each peg and then pulling each bottom um, loop over the top loop until you have the height that you want the hat to be. And that's how you do a fold over brim. Questions? Ask me. Thank you. Peace.